I mentioned we're in this very precarious position of it feeling like the hits just keep on coming mm-hmm. um, since the onset of the pandemic. I mean, first it was the pandemic itself and, you know, having to, to shelter in place and, and, you know, we got stimulus checks and all, but now there's like the housing crisis and the mm-hmm. inflation and the gas and the, like everything costs more and, and the, the um, supply and demands, like we went out for dinner yesterday and there was so many, like every restaurant or place that we walk into, like they're just short on people. And they're short on like the the things that they need mm-hmm. to actually like make us the the meal that they want to serve. So mm-hmm. it's a really tough time right now. And what people rarely talk about is the emotional toll of what we're experiencing as a collective. Oh, exactly. In fact, we'll be delving into the emotions of saving in an upcoming episode. And Um, it's so important and it's really critical to acknowledge a few things. Okay. One that not everyone is in a position to save right now, right? Mm -hmm. There are still many people not earning a fair and living wage, or they're just barely keeping their heads above water and the increasing cost of house gas, literally every single thing has made things that much harder. So if you're in a position where you're experiencing a lot of stress, the best thing you can do is twofold, right? First, what we mentioned earlier getting a clear view on your finances, having that information. We recently held a virtual workshop that walks you through exactly how to do that. And we'll link to the show notes. It's so helpful to our savers um, that they walked away knowing exactly their financial scenario, income, expenses, deciding whether they wanted to change, if they could save, what they're saving for. It really is a game changer. Yeah, it really is truly Um, empowering to be able to see those things in black and white, you know, to see your financial landscape in black and white and be able to make a plan. Um, When I was going through my spending and savings plan, I discovered subscriptions that Mm -hmm. I had forgotten about that I was paying about. And like, I mean, there were people who told us that too, after the workshop that they discovered subscriptions and um, they could, you know, were able to look and see what they could cut um, because they forgot they were paying for certain things and they felt empowered by seeing um, how much they, they spent on certain categories or to shop around for new insurance or different services to see where they can save. So some were empowered enough to finally reach out to lenders or creditors to ask for help now that they had that new clarity. 